eggplant. Hello, welcome to this video where I'll discuss test execution. The concept of test execution refers to using an execution method to run a set of code that is part of an overall eggplant functional suite. A single test execution can cover only one automated test case or many test cases depending on how the test is designed. This video will cover test types, execution methods, and briefly eggplant manager. In eggplant functional, there are two necessary considerations when it comes to test execution. The first is the test type that you want to use. In other words, which type of structure, as defined within the eggplant functional tool, is being executed. There are a few options including scripts, schedules, Gherkin feature files, and tables. These test types are available on the left side of the eggplant functional suite window. Scripts are the most commonly used type. Scripts can be executed directly. Their scope can cover only a single automated test case or many. Scripts that cover many automated test cases are often called master scripts. Scripts can also call Gherkin features. Schedules are a second type. Schedules are comprised of at least one eggplant functional script. The scripts within a schedule have a defined order and can contain information about which sets and parameter values each script should use. Schedules also contain information about script dependencies and how many times the set of scripts within a schedule should be called. Feature files are a third type of test which represents eggplant functional's implementation of Gherkin for behavior-driven development. Each line in a feature file makes calls to eggplant functional handlers that are stored within scripts. The details of the feature file indicate the proper order for the handlers to be called in, repetition of the handlers, and any parameter values that should be used by the handlers. The scope of the feature file will vary depending on the needs of the tester. Tables are the final type of test that can be configured within Eggplant Functional. Tables are based on keyword-driven testing and are built in a scriptless interface. The tables interface allows the building of a test by ordering keywords to create the desired workflow. Keywords within the table can refer to individual actions, such as a click, or full Eggplant Functional scripts. You can find detailed information for the use of each of these types in our online documentation. In addition to considering a test type, an execution method is needed. The three execution methods are available through three different modes of Eggplant Functional. The user interface, the command line interface, and EggDrive, which is a web service interface. The Eggplant Functional UI is generally used to run tests when some user interaction is required, either to debug the script or monitor the execution live. When running scripts in the Eggplant Functional UI, open the desired script and use the Run Script button that's available on the Suite and Run windows. The executed script can represent a single test case or it might be a larger master script that calls many other test cases. The interface for running Gherkin feature files and tables is very similar. With the feature file or table open, click the Run button to run the test. Schedules are a bit different. Run a schedule from the UI by opening the schedule and clicking the Run button in the lower right corner of the Schedules pane. Here's a quick demo showing what each of the test types looks like in the Eggplant Functional interface and how to execute them from the interface. My Eggplant Functional suite already has a few scripts and I want to run them as part of a single execution. There are different ways I can do this. For example, I can add them to a schedule as shown here. Within the schedule, I can set up dependencies for the scripts by using the arrows, specify a set for the scripts, pass parameters, or set a number of iterations for the schedule. The Run button runs the schedule in the Eggplant Functional interface. I can also combine all of my test case scripts into a single master script. The master script handles calling the test case scripts in the desired order. It also includes any special error handling or reporting that I need. Master scripts are executed in the same way as any other type of script. Here's an example of a Gherkin feature file that's been configured inside Eggplant Functional. The different lines of the feature file link to the Eggplant Functional handler shown here. The feature file defines the way in which the handlers are used. Feature files can be executed directly or through a script by using the run feature command. This is a table test. 
In the action column, I can call single events such as click or type text, or I can reference full eggplant scripts. Next, I'll discuss Eggplant Functional's command line interface. The command line interface is the most common method for executing unattended tests. Take advantage of Eggplant's command line interface by making a call to run script via the Eggplant machine's command prompt or terminal. By default, when tests are run via run script, Eggplant's user interface is suppressed. Almost always when using run script, you will include the path to the script, schedule, feature file, or table that should be executed. Here are examples of passing a script to the command line call. Note how the full file path for the desired script, including the script's directory and script file extension, is included in the call. It's also possible to specify multiple scripts as part of the execution by including the full paths for each script within the command line call in the order they should be executed. Gherkin feature files and tables are called in the same fashion, including the full paths to the feature file or table file. Calls to schedules are referenced similarly, but notice how the last folder referenced in the path is the suite itself rather than a schedules folder. When running Eggplant via run script, there are a number of flags that can be included with the command line call that will control the behavior of Eggplant. Information about the system under test, licensing, results behavior, or parameter values can be passed via command line. You can find documentation for the command line interface and available command line flags in our documentation. EggDrive is a third way to execute eggplant functional tests. When eggplant functional runs in EggDrive mode, it listens on the network for incoming calls from an XML RPC client, such as a script written in Python. Any component of SenseTalk can be called through EggDrive, such as calls to full scripts or Gherkin features, custom commands or functions, or inbuilt commands or functions. RunScript is used to start Eggplant in EggDrive mode by including the drive port flag in the port the web service should run on. Eggplant Functional's command line and EggDrive interfaces allow the execution of Eggplant Functional tests for many different frameworks and tools. Eggplant Manager is one example. Eggplant Manager leverages Eggplant Functional's command line interface in order to orchestrate test executions of varying scope, run those tests on a time schedule, and consolidate the results of those tests. An Eggplant Manager test can combine different types of tests, including scripts, Gherkin features, schedules, and tables. A test can be run on multiple schedules, including one-time executions and repetitive schedules. Eggplant Manager tests can also be run on demand through its interface or using its REST API.